Beneath the water, Ed's team broke the structure apart with nothing more sophisticated than a hammer and chisel. But how do you then raise a half-ton solid stone block to the surface? Their solution was to use canvas lifting bags. By inflating them with air like balloons, they had enough buoyancy to pull the blocks to the surface. The low visibility and long hours made this a dangerous operation. Over six months, 450 blocks of the Diocletian gates were floated to the surface one by one, where they were picked up by crane and taken away to their new location. By January 1966, work reassembling Abu Simbel at its new site had begun. As well as putting the monument back together, the team faced the even bigger task of rebuilding the mountain around the temples. Reassembling an entire mountain on top of the temples in their new position was an immense challenge. Piling truckloads of rock on top of the temples would be the easiest way, but this would crush the monuments. The engineers needed to replicate the precise scientific properties of the original mountain that had acted like an arch to hold the weight of rock away from the ancient temple. Their solution was to build an enormous concrete dome over the temple. The dome was so large it had to be built using 300 giant interlocking concrete sections. The dome would bear the full weight of mountain rock piled on top, protecting the temples below. The front of the cliff face would be reinstated block by block to ensure the temple and its surroundings looked as if they had never been moved. Two huge hurdles remained. Could they orientate the great temple as precisely as the ancients for the sunrise to illuminate the gods inside? And could the giant statues of Ramesses II be pieced back together to guard the temples once more? The team attempting to move the replica head of Ramesses have reached the final stage of their demonstration. Are you ready, George? They've sliced and lifted the face off. Now they must confront the same challenge faced by engineers back in the 60s when they reassembled the great temple of Abu Simbel. They needed to find a foolproof way of securing the face to the head, otherwise it would plummet 20 meters to the ground below. Cement was the obvious way, but they were worried the bond might be too weak for such a massive weight. There was a real risk Ramesses could fall flat on his face. They came up with an ingenious solution. They attached an L-shaped counterweight to the rear of the face using steel rods. The purpose of the concrete key is to act as a fixing for the sandstone face back into the rock face. Obviously, you can't put any fixing through the face to secure it, uh, otherwise you'd destroy the archaeology. So the reinforced concrete key is fitted into the sandstone by these fixing rods, which you can see here. The snug fitting of the wedge shape into the head would make the face impossible to dislodge. But have our team's calculations paid off? Can they successfully reassemble Ramesses' face back into his head? Our team is wrestling to fit Ramesses' face back into his head to complete the third and final stage of reassembling their record. It's a difficult task, made even harder by the desert winds. No closer! I want to go up! They're worried the L-shaped wedge could swing into their head and damage it. Rich, get yeah. that back row. Jerry can't do two at once. Yeah. All right, we want to come down now? Very, very slow. Oh, she's can you go? Him. Can you go? Can you go? Rudder, that way, that way. Well, I can, I can, I can, I can talk to him, Johnny. Okay, you right, gotta, we gotta watch the front. Okay. Line. You probably need to boom down a little bit. Is he like down then? Whoa, 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 whoa. Tell the crane to do it. Okay, right. We're gonna drop it and take, and take it close to that edge. Hold it. Watch it. Looking good. 
got probably two inches, three inches on my side. You need that? I'm really tight on my side here. All right. You OK? Yeah, I can. Yeah, you're about an inch and a half away from your cut. Come down with it. Baby. We're good. We're good. We're that. Come on, put him in. That's it right there. Done. There you go. One, we two, three. It. Ramesses. Hey. Hey. <laughs> the original move involved hundreds of delicate operations like this. It took an exhausting 19 months to completely reassemble the temples. Then they had to disguise their handiwork. There were 10 kilometers of cuts between the temple blocks that all needed to be filled with mortar to cover up any signs of surgery. On the 31st of October, 1968, four and a half years after it had begun, and an astonishing 20 months ahead of schedule, the project was completed. Just as everyone had hoped, Abu Simbel was not only restored to its former glory, it looked as if the temples had never been moved. Ramesses II must have been absolutely happy with this project. Seeing the whole world coming to save one of his monuments, 